Hello, this is Krillian. Welcome to episode 47 of my Let's Play, Dragon Age Origins, where we are playing as Karelian Kuzlan, a rogue about town. Yes. And we're gonna go with the same team, even though it's not a great team. But I feel that these two characters should both be at the next part. I probably didn't need them all for the entire thing, but it's fine. Do we get jumped going to Orzammar? Nope. So we're gonna quickly jump in to uh, back to the final stage as we have really battered our way through this. Uh, other than the one time where I was playing way too late, I think it's gone pretty well. We have had to start using better tactics. So we're now going to go to the Anvil of the Void. I think I've only done the Anvil of the Void once. So I don't remember it too much. I remember the Broodmother because I remember that. That was a memorable thing. Um, but I, and I know the gist of what happens here, I think. From my, but it's been a while. So I don't know how much is how big the actual area is, how much you're going to do. Anywhere. This has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Okay, is that good or bad? We don't really know. Well, there's someone there. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Shave my back and call me an elf! Bronca! By the stone! I barely recognized you! Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Rosamar needs a new king to defend against a blight. A king won't defeat a blight. We've had 40 generations of kings and lost everything. I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here, so close I can taste it. But there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. That seems kind of not good. Uh, what about Hesbeth in your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There is only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. Uh, well, apparently she's gotten kind of angry. Okay, so we have to work our way through a maze. Sounds fun and filled with loot. Probably lots of dark spawn too. So, we may need to do the pulling as we go. Go a quick save.
Uh, here's a dormant corpse. She's been throwing everyone through here. Well, that's some money. Is a dark spawn corpse? I needed people to catch their test keratin's traps. There is no way to break through except by trial and error. I sent them in. So you basically just sent your people in to die over and over again. Wow. Uh, that does not seem a paragon of virtue to me. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. Yeah, you're evil, apparently. Okay, well. Sure. Let's go deal with. I'm just looking to see if there's anything other than alpha. Okay, everyone, go for him. You cage him. And we're gonna gank the alpha fast. Oh, he got caged and then paralyzed. That's awesome. Okay, you're getting attacked by something. Okay. Go away. She shouldn't have gone. She was pledged to me. She swore she'd do. Uh. Whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some. Some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me. Let me find the anvil. It was the only way. You're like really evil. Okay. Uh, you bubble him. Oh no, he 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 did not die. So you need to cage him. Emlocks, emissaries need to die. They need to die fast, they need to die lots. Okay, everyone's looking okay still. Gun. I don't know how many waves are coming. Oh, she hasn't said anything yet. All right. At least we're getting a lot of money. Dust her leather armor. Eh, not amazing. And wave the three. That was a very small wave. Yes. You have no idea. And I'm off. Yeah, how they carried on. Ooh, a mushroom. And begging to die. You have no idea how they carried on holding my hand and begging to die. They had pledged me their loyalty. They had no right to fight me. They have no right to fight me. They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. Maybe because you were sending them all to their deaths on purpose. And then breeding Darkspawn to do the same, I mean... You are very evil. Uh, okay. 
We have an ogre and a bunch of dudes. We're gonna go after the ogre, and you're gonna cage the beast. Did you try to cage him? Apparently you did and it did not work. Uh, I need a potion. You're dead. Go deal with this guy. Okay, he's gone. I lost momentum. That's weird. We'll get back in a moment. Okay. There's lots of Valyrium here. One gold, great. A metal shard, if we wanted to make traps for some reason. It would help with that. I don't know why I'd want to, but I could. Actually, I can't. I, I don't have that. The person who does is not here. Never any shortage of these ones. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Okay, no emissaries seem to be coming out. Move to the flank. Oh, I haven't bothered to put back up momentum. Okay, grab the quick save because I don't want to do this all again. We are getting semi close to leveling, or closer, I guess is a better way of putting it. Oh, look, there was a golem. Ooh, more golems. Apparently, they've been killing golems. Uh, okay. Go another quick save as I think something must happen here soon. Other than me just picking up lots of money. Although I'm totally happy just picking up lots of money. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Shell takes damage here too. If it must. Shell needs to go and do the gas bat. You guys all kill this. You cage it. Shell. Is there another valve here? I shall do it. Okay, now Shell got has the aggro, and this will go well. I do think we have to kill a bunch of these. Okay, everyone, come here. Okay, let's go kill the second golem. Yeah, 
dirty fighting doesn't work. Paralysis does! Okay. You kill us all. Point me! Kill him, kill him fast, kill him dead. Where's the music? Ogren's actually sucking aggro, which is surprising. Okay. You heal everyone. You Okay. So, this is not a perfect run through this room since I didn't realize there were two valves on either side. Uh, we can move. But overall, that went quite well. Took out a number of golems. Of course, there appear to be more. I wonder if those are going to come to light. Ooh, an entry kit, that's great. You're no longer injured, right? That's good. There are two more golems here. But, no, nah, they're blocked off, they're not coming to life. Okay. How did this dwarf get through there without just dying to golems? Okay. Trap. So simple to see, really. Don't look now. At some point, they're obviously all going to come to life. Well, maybe if I don't set off the trap, they don't come to life. Nope, they came to life. Okay, everyone, deal with this one first. Hello everyone. Wait, what is you? The second one? Bubble wrap. I'm gonna have to go get more L fruit soon. <laughs> Okay. Just in time, one's down. Oh, you. You need to be healed. And. Okay. Go paralysis for the win. Okay. What does this one do? That is probably better than what he has, because it has a 22 requirement, not a 20. So let's go to inventory, jump over to shell, and your current armor is 27. That brings it to 32. That is much, much better. Okay, let's go a quick save because, yeah. The question is, how many more of these come to life? Possibly all four. Nope, just two. Okay, everyone is going there except for you. We'll wrap that one. Okay. Now 
Ah, it keeps turning away, so its back isn't to me. Oh, that's a problem. You... Try to do that. You... You need to attack that one. You need to drink a potion. Everyone, we need to hit that one. When you need to run away. Um, go ahead and just do that on yourself. Okay. Another couple down. Huh. Uh, cool. Full on injury kit. Goal is to, you know, not be injured, but it's better than not having anything to heal that. Okay. Did these two come to life? They don't seem to be. Okay, we got the quick save. This may be the main room. There's a big anvil. Oh no, this is some riddle thing. Okay. Oh, it's freaking Spirit City. Okay. Okay, everyone. It really doesn't want me to get this sneak out of the, the rear attack going. Okay, let's go for this one, I guess. Time to get messy. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay. I shall do so. Yeah, you just feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, I'm supposed to hit those at the anvils. Heal the whole party. Everyone, club this guy. You do that. Life ward him. You. Drink a potion. You. Drink a potion. You can drink a potion too. Hit the anvil. Okay, everyone, come here. You. Drink a better potion. You heal the whole group. 
Biggest small potion. We need to kill this so we can get the spirit energy to beat the tower. Everyone, run back over here. Okay, now we'll come to it. I have no idea how many more of these we have to do. You kill the whole group. Everyone, go for this forgotten spirit. Okay, this is... This is a somewhat painful fight. Get this one. What the heck happened there? Okay. So I'll get back over here. Oh, there's only two more. This time they're only coming in from two sides. Uh, drink a potion. You life ward me. You drink a potion. No more talking. Okay, we should be close to done. Everyone, kill this enraged spirit. He's enraged. All right. Okay. The only one is over here. We need to go and gank this guy fast. You kill me. We're down to one. Is it done? Kinda looks done. Okay, well we got that on the first try, so that's good. That's good. Let's take a look at the map, see what we're looking at. Okay. No loot to be had. There was lyrium if we needed lyrium, that's good to know. We'll grab the quick save. Check the time. Oh, we're doing okay. I think we might be able to finish this in this episode. That would be the hope. Okay. A super gulp. Once, longer ago, than I care to think I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradon, the paragon smith, alive. Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell of the House of Kadash, step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shale. But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the void here in this very room and put you into the form you now possess. The anvil of the void. That is what we seek. 
If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Um... You made the anvil, huh? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. Sounds like blood magic, which is in fact a dangerous road. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. So you sit it away? Uh, what now? Do you want revenge? Let's ask that. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shea. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the Anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Yeah, we're gonna go with Keridan. Here, Paragon, I'll help you if you support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spum? The anvil will let us take back our glory. Um, it has to be destroyed. So it fights with Caradin. Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm pretty terrible to fight against. Um. Can't you see? Sh uh, we have to destroy the anvil, Brian. We'll talk to her. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. No, she's a obsessed beyond redemption. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! <laughs> Stop her alone. Okay. So, we have a bunch of golems and Bronca. Uh, I don't want to do that. We just have to kill her. 
So, let's go get this done. Okay. Hell the grip. Maybe we should be focusing on golems. You bubble him. You uh, you've already held the party. I am a paragon. Kill him. We get more experience by killing everything anyways. Okay. You have another potion. Okay. Oh no, that's a problem. Bubble him. You drink a potion as soon as you, you know, drink a big potion as soon as you get going. You heal the world. Okay. Another one down. We're almost done with all the golems. Unfortunately, we did have to kill the golems. Or fortunately, it's a lot of experience that we would have not gotten if we had not beat up all the golems. It is fast if you just take down Bronca. Ah, oh, crud, we've lost Ogryn. No, we lost Shell. That's terrible. Okay, you... Do that to her. Here I am. Should have life warded him. You drink a potion. <laughs> you kill everyone. I would really like to paralyze her. You? Go get Larium. Bubble yourself. So we can get her to, like, stop paying attention to you. How is there like seven of them? You don't know what. Okay. We're we're doing it. Bronk is going down. Of course, the whole place is breaking around her, but... <sighs> okay. Vanguard. You have Bronca shield. You know, dude, I was supposed to give you a better weapon, and I didn't. And I'm off. We're gonna go and get all the... The loot. Going. And I'm off. Okay, that was easier than some of the other areas. Okay, so we have Keridin, not Bronca, but it works out to the same. 
Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories, and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the Master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Shem. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. As long as you do your part. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Um... We need to set an election. For the aid you've given. I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Okay. Why wouldn't he come back and help the dwarves? I'd be like, can he come and help with the blight? There, it is done. Give it to whom you will. I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more of them. I have already lived far beyond my time. I have no place here. Um, that's a sad answer. It really, really is. Because we could definitely use you. Um, I'll destroy the animal. Please be human. It seems pretty evil. One hit. Because that's how I roll. You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. You were a super powerful golem. You could have at least wandered out and killed a bazillion darkspawn for funsies. Oh well. I am the liberator. I have liberated the liberations. Okay, so at this point we're going to need to go back, we're just going to run around and make sure there's nothing left to loot, and it doesn't appear there is. Ooh, what is this? The Ooh, the registry. Um, examine more closely. Right, is Jordan appears to be a long list of names, with staff of the house next to him, you recognize a few of the houses, continue. Uh, the bottom of our list, we honor those who made the sacrifices, let their names be remembered. Carving said deep enough tracing can be taken, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Uh, do you recognize this shell? No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Carradin's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them, I know not. 
What about you, Ogren? <sighs> Names. Long list of dwarves. Wait, wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. It's obviously Let those that names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial yeah. of all the dwarves who became golems. That was pretty Ask obvious. Me. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Mm, probably both. Uh, well, we'll take a tracing. Continue. Okay, so we have the Golem Registry. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a fast way out of here. No. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Uh... Yep, they need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Okay, back to Orzammar. Um, I think we're going to end the episode once we get to Orzammar. If we get jumped, I'll probably deal with the being jumped. So there are only six, seven areas for the Dorbin. Some of them pretty long. I think the Orzammar part is probably the longest. Eight if you count the rogues. So, oh, I guess we're going to be doing this immediately. Assembly. I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? For the crown of Caradin, the chosen king. Caradin was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradin forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keratin choose? Uh... He chose Harrowmont. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. Well, now we get the king that we wanted. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. I will not abide by this! The Ancestors have spoken! Uh, we're gonna tell him to stand behind him. Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! Yeah, this is obviously gonna be the thing that happened. Down the wreck, Balin. I'm pretty sure you fight no matter what here. Where is Balin? Okay, there we go. You do that. Where's Balin? Oh, he's way over there. 
You're attacking an old woman, you suck, so I'm gonna paralyze you and stab you in the back a bunch. I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. I have faith in you, Haramut. Indeed. More than anyone but my wife, Warden. And I thank you for it. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. Mm. I have duties to do. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Okay, so we have Hermann's ally. Who's the one I always go with because... Shale of House Kadash. I guess we're doing this. Who I once was. I find this difficult to believe. Uh, I don't. Then I envy its imagination. If I was this shale of House Kadash, as Caridon said, there must be some evidence of my existence remaining. I must find it. Hmm. Perhaps her record's here. There is another way. What Caridon said, it has allowed me to remember one thing. I believe I know where Kadash Taig is. Uh, we can go there. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious as to what we will find. Well, we will go there. And I'm off. Oh, potions, I need those. We're not going to bring, um... Seriously, all we got is elixir of grounding? Yes. I call shenanigans. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here. At this point, we have gone quite far. Ah, I'm so close to leveling. I uh, don't know if it'll matter much. Um, what is my strength? 40. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is go do Ostromar. Because I should, after this, be able to deal with us, uh, with whatever armor it is. So, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Adios.